Okay, this is James P. Madonna from the Facebook group Everything is Food. A little light, a light on the duck. Isn't that pathetic? The only good piece of duck, well, if you want to call it a good piece, but look what I found. Roast lamb. Oh. Shout out to uh, Natalia Rodriguez, near dear Natalia, Anthony Laura, Salvatore Mercurio, Mario Petrus, look at that, roast lamb. Finally a treat. The sacrificial lamb has begun. All right, it is. It is the beginning of May, 2018. All right, Let's see what we got going here. Uh, they'll bring the calamari out later. So what I'll do is I'll get my cameroons here, my fried cameroons. All right. What? I don't see. I see platanos maduros, but I don't see tostones this time. No tostones. Yeah, the fried calamari comes out about after 3, 3, 3.30. 3, yeah, then they put that out. But the lamb, I, I, this is a treat. Roast lamb. It is a over treat. Over there. That's what I tell my brother, they keep changing it. Yeah, on the other side. Yeah, there's always something there's different always every something week. Different. But, 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 but lamb is, some people don't like it, I love it. Yeah. All right, just giving some advice to, to the folks. Here, some nice people. Oh, look at this. Well, we got squash. I don't have any room right now, but we got squash. Both yellow and uh, zucchini, grilled. And then we have the uh, usual Brussels sprouts, but I have no room, because look. I mean, I had to take advantage of, of the sacrificial lamb. Hey, how you doing? All right. Oh, mustn't forget lemons for my lemon water. Okay. How am I gonna do this? Can't carry a soup bowl. Well, I'll come back for the grape leaves later. Can't carry a soup bowl because of what I'm carrying now. So, this will have to make do. People are actually singing to this lame music. Yeah, you know what? This will have to do. This will have to do. I want to get lamb gravy on my uh, lemon water. In my lemon water lemons. Here we have the New Zealand uh, green lip mussels. One of the richest sources of omega-3, right? And uh, very good for arthritis. The pink ones are female. From what I understand, these look like they're males. You can give your brother a little education. Ah, I can't. I can't give an education because they're all males. See, they're just colored. They're not pink. Right? Here's the green lip. Thus the name, New Zealand green lip mussels. There you go. Here's an even prettier one. Souvenir, I should bring the shells home. You know what? Interesting. Let me grab some. Let me grab some of these guys. Um, that should. Green lip muscles.
Is it? It's a nice one. I know Larry King is advertising a product, an omega-3 fatty acid product made from New Zealand green lip mussels. It's like when Larry King used to advertise for garlic. It's magnifique. All right. Good thing I brought one of those liquor store bags with me. I had to because I can't, I can't keep my phone in my pocket. I'll end up butt calling somebody. Oh, I gotta get a steak knife. I gotta get a steak knife. I'm here at the Royal Hibachi. Um, no steak knives. Okay. Royal Hibachi uh, Grill and Buffet, Route 46 West, Satterbrook, New Jersey. Fresh pineapple, kiwi. And uh, uh, any steak knife? A steak knife on that side? You know the steak knife? The, the steak knife, the black, the black handle one for cutting. Uh, maybe, maybe they're all dirty. Okay, Jay's Prima Donna Facebook group. Everything is food. Round two. And look what I found. Little spinach pies. Oh, oh, oh. shout out to. Uh, the creator Mario Petrus, a Greek delight. They look very good. I spoke to the owner. He used very good feta cheese and phyllo dough. You know, I guess this is the most convenient way he can he can prepare them for the for the buffet. But this looks very nice. I always love this. I always love this. I always love this. Um, Musa, Musaka, it's okay. I think it's it's like an eggplant made with, uh, um, made like a lasagna. I think they use that bechamel sauce, right? Right, Salvatore Mercurio, the bechamel, you know? The bechamel, like the, like the hol holistic uh, fisting colonics. Bechamel. What do we got here? No, it's okay. It might be couscous, though. Oh, they put out more lamb. Ah, I gotta go for more lamb. Da, 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 da. Now, look at this grilled asparagus. The whole problem with asparagus it makes my 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 piss smell like like terrible. I'm just talking. On the, I'm not talking to myself or anything. Yeah, that's the whole problem with asparagus. But it tastes great, though. <clears throat> okay. How am I going to do this? It's a tilapia. Alright. Very nice looking roast lamb here. Um, get some more, some more roast lamb, sacrificial lamb here, very nice sauce. That should do it. That's all I could fit, really. So we got spinach pie. Made with, of course, spinach, phyllo dough, feta cheese. We have some very nice grilled j jumbo asparagus, super jumbo asparagus, and more roast lamb. Sacrificial lamb. Gotta take advantage of that, you know? Of course, some of these few jabronis around here have no sense of humor they just like looked at me without smiling they tell you if I had a if I had a dollar for everybody I want to punch out I'd be a rich man what is that kimchi it looks like kimchi that's kimchi right 
I thought so. Kimchi. Ah. That might be yellowtail, I don't know. Yellowtail sashimi maybe? I don't know. Looks good. Too bad I got no I got no room for anything else. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Okay, here we are. Jumbo asparagus. Spinach pie. In wet in wedges and more roast lamb. A very lovely plate, I should say so. For round two. Royal Hibachi Grill and Buffet. Route 46 West in Saddlebrook, New Jersey. It has been a very unseasonably warm week this spring, in uh, the beginning of May. And um, what are you gonna do? Climate change. All right, James P. Madonna. Facebook group, everything is food. Round three. You get some uh, tuna sashimi here. Right. Lovely tuna sashimi. Yellowtail or clam? The, the fish. Oh. White tuna. Oh, white tuna. Okay, thank you. White tuna sashimi. White tuna sashimi. Um, Alright, let me get a little wasabi here. I'm gonna. I don't, I'm not in the kimchi mood. I'm not in a kimchi mood exactly, so I'm not gonna do kimchi. I'll take a little a little pickled ginger though. I usually mix the wasabi in with the soy sauce. Let's see if I can do this without spilling it. Oh gee. Oh boy, I guess I'm lucky so far. Anyway, that looks looks good. Looks picturesque. Royal Hibachi Grill and Buffet, Route 46 West in um, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Facebook group. Everything is food. James P. Madonna here of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. Let's see. Grill? Do I want any grilled veggies? Oh, the fried cal fried calamari is out. Yeah, but you know what? I like this better. To be honest with you. Nah. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass. Let's see. 
Here's the fried calamari with marinara sauce. Right. The rings, not the tentacles, unfortunately. Right. Tender and not overcooked. Excellent, just the same. Okay. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> this will be my final round uh, before dessert. Here we have uh, both standard red tuna with uh, white tuna, sashimi, pickled ginger, soy sauce, wasabi, which I will mix in the soy sauce. Okay. Outstanding summer meal, in my opinion, is sushi and sashimi. Gentlemen, I must say that this white tuna sashimi is outstanding. It's the first time I ever had white tuna sashimi. I mixed the wasabi in with the soy sauce. The flavor is outstanding, outstanding. I really, I'm really enjoying it. White, white tuna, sashimi. Has an excellent, like a creamy flavor. I really love the flavor. Probably second to possibly bluefin, but but to be honest with you, it even rivals the flavor of any of the yellowfin tuna that I've had. That's for sure. I'm real, but I really love it. So the highlights of this week's buffet, <clears throat> Cinco de Mayo 2018, will be the white tuna sashimi, the roast lamb, and the spinach pie. <clears throat>